So at this stage of the video, all I'm sure about is that I'm going to be basing my two style challenges on this template. And this is a template by G-Care, so I will link it below. It's made with 160 GSM paper. Not quite sure what that is in pounds. Um, I'll try and look it up. And um, it's it basically it's it's two sheets of A4 paper printed onto cardstock. So when I show you the template that I'm going to use for my two challenges, it is definitely based on this, but it's one piece of card. But you can most definitely, if you haven't got a large A3 sheet of card, cardstock, you can most definitely make it out of two sheets of paper. So what we've got, so that's the cover. And the inside cover has got some beautiful, um, the beautiful digital kit. Actually, this is a free kit by uh, Rachel Bell Crafts, available on their coffee site. And I've made also made some tags out of them. And then we've got a small journal, just tea dye paper with just a little, very light. Uh, journal cover and in the middle we've got another pocket that fits lots of nice ephemera in there all made from the kit and then on the other inside cover we've just got a nice little pocket here and I've got a little notebook another little notebook and uh, ATC and they fit in there and then we just come in there I haven't put a pocket on there because I didn't want to bulk it out too much we could very much very easily put a pocket on there and again that's the back which I didn't want to cover but of course you can put a pocket on the back there as well so that's the template that I'm going to use today okay this is what the template looks like. Now I've done my best to measure it. Now, hand on heart, when I cut it all out, I didn't measure. All I did was I had my sheet of paper and I knew that my sheet of paper, um, which is gonna be the inside of the journal, and I'm gonna to refer to this as a mini journal. Even though it's not mini as in overall size it's mini as in how many sheets of paper uh, you're gonna put in there um okay so i've measured this around the size of the paper the signature that i want to put in this mini journal and it's 12 centimeters across and it's 23 quarter centimeters down uh, lengthways I should say so that's four and three quarters across and eight and a quarter so that way but obviously when you double it up you know it's 24 centimeters across you know what I'm trying to say um, and so I've basically cut this around the piece of paper and I have used this pack of A3 paper which will be in my Amazon wish list for you to have a look at. Uh, it's called Town Sticks A3 Craft Paper 200 GSM 50 sheets. You get 50 sheets in there. Um, and I'm going to use the same template uh, for both styles. And I'll make this with you now. But honestly, you don't need to have A3. If all you've got is A4 cardstock or A4 paper, then you can make this project just the same all you will have to do because you won't have the height so um you'll either have to have it the size of the a4 paper folded in half lengthways or you could cut this slightly smaller to then have a little bit of gap top and bottom that's the only difference so the left side um I'll, I'm not quite sure how best to share this with you really. Um, what I'll do is I'll, um, I'll leave this at, 
I'll leave this at the end for a couple of seconds so maybe you can do a screenshot but that's 11 centimeters across and it's 21 and a half centimeters in length four and a quarter across then the middle section uh, the first half of the middle section is 13 and a half centimeters five and a half inches across the second part of the middle is 12 centimetres, four and three quarter inches across. And then the little pocket is five and a half centimetres, which is about two and a quarter. And then I've got pockets here and the depth there is eight and a quarter centimetres, three and a quarter inches. So I will make this now and it's, it's never going to work out because... Oh, <laughs> I'm useless at making these things, but I'll do my best um, using this template to show you what I've done. The first thing I'm going to do is fold up. And I'm not going to use a scoreboard. Well, I might use a scoreboard. I may do for the smaller bits, but my scoreboard isn't big enough to actually fit all this in. So um, I'll probably just end up... Um, just using a, a bone folder for most of it so the measurement up here we're going to we're going to do this pocket first and that is eight and 8.25 centimeters which is three and a approximately three and a quarter inches i can't do i can't do inches so i'm just gonna draw this so i know roughly where i'm gonna score it Okay, let's move my scrap bits of paper out of the way. We don't need those. I really should tidy up my desk before I start putting them in. Oop, here they all are, falling everywhere. I really should throw some of my scraps away too. But I just haven't got the heart. So I'm going to use my table. If I can, I'm just off camera, apologies. I'm just going to score down here. And it's just easier not to do it on the on the scoreboard. Now, the best thing for doing this would be the, one of those little things that you've got with a ball on the top. Now, I've got a set of them somewhere, but I can't find them. I'll just score it there. Flip it over and fold. Flip it over again and fold. Okay. That's that bit. That bit's easy. <laughs> okay. And hopefully that'll give us 21 and a half centimetres in length-ish. Yep. So there's my 21 and a half centimetres and that is eight and a quarter centimetres. So the next line I need to make is 11 centimetres across. Now the 11 centimetres is to this side here and then I put quarter of an inch spine. So I'm just going to do that score first. Let's put that there. Flip it over. And fold. Now in my prototype example I've shown you. I've covered all the spines I've put in, the two spines there, to strengthen them. So if you do, you know, you don't have to be perfect with your with your spines and I've covered them inside as well. Uh, that one's with paper and that one is with fabric. Um, and they're about a quarter of an inch on there as well, but I really didn't mention them. Uh, I did, didn't measure them when I did them there. Why would I? I never measure. Is that a quarter of an inch? Ah, it's about half a centimetre, isn't it? Mm. I'm going to go with quarter of an inch.
now you may want to be absolutely exact and get the edges to be flush but honestly you can just chop them off and not worry too much that's my advice but you know it depends how much you need to need it to be accurate right, I'm gonna just use the bone folder on the previous one right so we need to know So remember now that my 11, my 11 centimetres is from this point because the next bit is 13 and a half centimetres, which is there. So that's the half inch spine and from there to there is 11 centimetres. Right, let's put this next one in. get my template out to check so from that line there to that line there is 13 and a half centimeters so I have done quarter of an inch past that 13 and a half centimeters you can tell I didn't think about this ahead of time did I absolutely not okay quarter of an inch Spines and going back to my template. So, let's have a look. The 12 centimeters, I think, is from the 13 and a half point. Yes. So, my 13 and a half point is that score line there. <laughs> Oh, if you follow along this, you are amazing people. Oh, actually, I need to put a mark at the top there so I can see what I'm doing. Okay. So let's have a look at where we're cutting. So based on this, we are going to cut away this section here and then we're going to put um, a nice edge there and a nice edge there so that gives, so it just makes it easier for your pocket. Now you don't actually need to do that and I might do this slightly different on this one and just do a slight edge because on here where is it in this example I've done it straight across and then just rounded the edges up which I do like the only thing is it does bulk it up here a little bit so that's what you've got to keep in mind and make your decision on that uh, and it'll be interesting to see the difference between the two projects now so I'll, I'll do it slightly different uh, on this one so let's put that out of the way and cut here. I'm going to use my rather large craft knife. Okay, so what we need to do is just take slightly off there. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to measure... Um, I think I'll measure half a centimetre. Is that going to be too much? No, I'll be okay. Half a centimetre. Probably easier to do it with scissors. 
so that's just slightly you can always round those as well which i might do after here we have our template so that goes like that and you've got your spine there and remember this is a mini journal so we're not planning on putting tons and tons in here which is going to be a real challenge for both the steampunk and the um, shabby chic because they're full of embellishments but anyway we'll worry about that as we go along and then that goes like that and that is the front cover no nope. that goes like that that's the front cover you could do it either way it doesn't matter it just sees you well it doesn't really matter whichever way you prefer I guess it depends on whatever you put on the front and then you can make your decision Okay, so you've got a little bit of space to play with there. Um, this one is actually sitting quite flush-ish. Now, if yours, you know, it does come off slightly there, and I could, I could cut it, but you know, I'm just going to leave it and see what it looks like when I stick everything down. But that's the start, and here we are. Use the second one. So these are my two mini journals and the next stage is decorating. Now which one am I going to do first? Because both are a bit of a challenge for me because I never made either. Am I going to do the steampunk or am I going to do the shabby chic? I think I'll do the steampunk because that's probably the most urgent one because that's going to a relative. Catch you in a bit. <laughs> 